I was in a pool, a membership pool. Then this other woman was there. All of a sudden, she spots me, and she starts to swim over to me. And I said, oh no, she's not gonna get out of here. She's not gonna ask me what church do I go to. We're in the pool. So she swam over to me, and believe me, I was thinking she'll not know that I spotted her, and I'm gonna go under the water, and I'm gonna bypass her and go out of the pool and in the car, wet and drive to my house. God uh, really, for me, was when I went to school, when I went to the sermon on Friday, and when we went to church on Sunday, and essentially, that was God. It didn't feel like he was accessible. He was someone who loved me, but at the same time, someone to be feared. Someone who uh, placed judgment. When I became a teenager, I told my mother, you can't make me to go to church anymore. And then she stopped going to church too. Everything revolved around self. Self-directed, self-motivated, ambition, uh, what we wanted to do in life, our own plan. We orchestrate ourselves. We're in charge. But I did feel this compulsion you know, to leave where I was and to relocate. And it was very specific in terms of the out-of-state area. And somehow I believed in God that much because I knew that this was God directed somehow. It was confusing. I just knew that that part was real though. So then relocating only to find after unpacking that I was living in a community surrounded by missionaries. I feel like I'm on Little House on the Prairie or something. How am I gonna fit into this? And oh, please, dear God, please, I hope this is not a cult. Neighbors on either side of me both took their turns asking me what church do you go to? And I went to both of their churches guardedly and I said in a polite way, you know, that, you know, I cannot really make a commitment, but I would go, you know, to see and I'll be as open-minded as I possibly can be. And the person to the right of me invited me to her church too. And what happened to me? I don't know what happened to me. but. As soon as I stepped foot in that church, I questioned what is going on with me because I was confused, but I was excited. I felt like I was ready to jump out of my skin. And it was just sensational. I felt like this aliveness, like I didn't even know that I was dead until I felt this aliveness. That was like such a defining moment was that church experience. And if you said to me, what if I told you five years prior, five years from now, you're gonna find a church and you were gonna be so lit up and you were gonna not be able to wait to go, would you believe me? I would say, no, <laughs> how could that even be? I've had Christian friends come close and say with a glowing smile, Jesus loves you so much. And I would say, which I still say, really? Really? Oh my God. Oh. When Jesus was on the cross, I was on his mind. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? That just is amazing. That's amazing. You know, we all have the sinful nature, but I love knowing 
Therefore, there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And I thought, that is just amazing. So that's what I keep close to my heart.